Over the Park CrossFit, how are you today? Uh, today we are going to talk about the wall ball and some efficiency tips for that wall ball. We're going to talk about two things again. Um, this time we're going to start about, talk about our start position and then we're going to talk about cycling that wall ball so that we can do it a little bit quicker um, while using the same or even less energy in order to do so. So today we're going to start with that starting position. Um, the starting position is crucial for every movement that we do here um, in the gym, whether it is a clean, a back squat, a wall ball, rowing, um, does not matter. That start position is going to determine that set that you're doing and it's either going to set you up for success or start you down a path of um, not quite success. I don't want to call it failure, uh, but not optimal uh, movement. So, talking about this wall ball and doing wall balls, that start position is going to be very important. Where you want to set yourself up from, and obviously you can't do this mid-workout all the time, but you can to start off that workout, you want to set yourself up about an arm's length away from the wall. So for me, that's going to be right here. And then second step that I really want you to focus on when starting those sets is straddling that wall ball. Set yourself up right over that ball. So I'm arm's length right on top of the ball instead of walking up and my ball's all over the place so I have to you know, find where I'm going, find my ball. Well, I guess this is good. Okay, I guess I'm ready to start. I've now wasted a pretty good amount of time where I could have been moving that wall ball instead. So that next thing that we're gonna talk about is picking up that wall ball. This seems like it is the most minute thing that you could possibly do when wall balling, but it actually makes a big difference. We are all capable of doing a squat. Um, it may not be super deep. Um, it may be just a parable, parallel, maybe even just a little bit above. But what I want you to think about is, if I am trying to do this workout for time, or I'm trying to get as many reps as I possibly can, I want to start in the position that I'm gonna wall ball from. So I'm just gonna pull myself under this ball instead of picking the ball up. Okay, now I'm ready. Again, three to five seconds, which doesn't seem like a lot in the, the scheme of things when you're doing the workout, but can pay dividends down the road, especially in those open workouts where we have big sets of wall balls where you're breaking it up every now and then. Taking those extra three to five seconds and putting them into reps is gonna set you up to do even better and see those scores in the open get even better constantly. So, straddle that wall ball, arm's length, and we are pulling ourselves right into that bottom position to start my wall ball. Now this is one thing that I'm gonna throw at you that's not quite as important, it's more personal preference, but um, I know we've talked about the handstand push-up in the past, um, those three points of pressure, I guess you could say, I can't find the right words here, but three points of contact uh, on the floor increase my stability. Same thing goes here. I'm trying to create three points of contact with this wall ball. So I've got my two hands. That third, for me, I always set the wall ball right on my chin. For some of us, you might be thinking that's a little bit gross. You know, you're getting your mouth pretty close to a dirty wall ball. But I promise you, they're not as dirty as you think they are. We do clean them. Um, so don't be afraid to do it. And if you do slobber on it a little bit, don't worry about it. Just wipe it off. It's all good. Um, so uh, we have our arms, oh, arms length away. Straddle the wall ball. Pull under. And three points of contact. Big keys. So that I can get into that wall ball start my reps and let those first few dictate uh, how that set is going to go. That first rep really is especially important because it calibrates you to exactly how high you need to throw it, where your positioning is. All right, so moving on to the cycling portion of today, um, I want to talk about the biggest um, time spent in a wall ball. It is not you actually moving the wall ball. It is the wall ball operating in the air, going against gravity, and going with gravity. 
Gravity is going to dictate a lot of the time that we are on a wall ball. Um, that said, you can use a few keys in order to efficiently use that gravity and decrease your time on the ball in order to let gravity do its thing more often. Um, so, a couple things is when you throw that ball on the return, if you want to speed up your cycling, all you have to do is meet that ball on the way down. Similar to catching a football, catching a baseball, you give yourself a little bit of time to meet that, that throw. Um, so, similar thing here, if I am going to catch up here and then ride down, not only am I taking on more load, but I'm also a little bit slower than if I try and meet the wall ball on the way down. That's gonna look like this. See how much smoother that is? The sound is a lot lighter because I'm taking in a lot of that impact. I'm meeting that wobble on the way down. Uh, now, another thing you can do, um, this one's a little bit trickier, not one I fully recommend, but it can help with some people, is especially on those really short sets, pull that wall ball with you. So if I am going on my reps, I'm grabbing it, and I am pulling it down. Similar to when we do Fran, for example, in order to go faster, you're going through the same range of motion. So in order to increase your speed, you have to pull that barbell down into the next rep. Same concept here, pull that ball down, get faster. Uh, last little bit, and this is probably the most important, um, it goes off of those 10 physical skills of CrossFit. Um, one of those being accuracy. If you are super accurate with your ball and you are hitting right at 10 feet for the gentlemen, nine feet for the ladies most of the time, um, that is going to make your life a whole lot easier because if I'm throwing it a foot higher, that's giving it a foot on the way up and a foot on the way down for gravity to act on it. I can't do anything to that ball when it's up there in the air just hanging. So if I can accurately put it right at that mark every time, my life's gonna be a whole lot easier. All right, if you have any questions, uh, let me, any of the coaches know. Um, we would be more than happy to help you. Um, if you really wanna get into the wall ball, um, talk about some of the even more minute uh, pieces of the wall ball, uh, feel free to set up one of those one-on-one -on -one personal training um, classes. Uh, sessions, probably a better word, but uh, for any movement, that could be the wall ball, could be something else. All right, y'all have a great day.